Welcome back to another edition of Blue Drake Stays Up Until 3 a.m. Taking all of your submissions and compiling another update video. Because this is what you all want. And fuck it. Battlefield's my pussy, and I got my shit bucket ready to go. So let's dive deep back inside and talk about some of the things that you all are telling me. First up, uh, thank you so much for the kill pat sending me a message, uh, correcting me on some of the things that we talked about in the last video. Uh, the sniper rifle is a Mauser 98 with an optic, uh, which I believe is a German rifle. So that is a German sniper rifle. That is probably someone playing on the German faction. Uh, the bomber shown is the German Gotha GV, which was actually also uh, correlated with a couple of other people. Um, the Mad Kerbal also pointed out that it looks like the Gotha GV, very similar uh, to the other bomber. Uh, as you can see, it's got very distinctive gear, uh, but it is for the Germans, uh, which is interesting. It's a three-man bomber, um, and uh, maybe not as many positions as I thought there were going to be, uh, but still, a large aircraft with multiple seats, and we're going to have to see what kind of impact that's going to have in gameplay. Uh, the flamethrower is something we're actually going to talk a little bit more about later, uh, and the Zeppelins apparently were used in the London bombing raids, but apparently weren't that effective. Uh, some people are saying that this scene might be coming from London, which would actually make sense. I mean, when you even look at the trees and stuff like that, like, I don't know, it looks kind of like courtyards or something like that. Uh, this, this could be the German bombing raid on London. That is the biggest thing right now. So, those are the main things. Let's talk about some of the meaty stuff. First off, two new factions people are saying might be confirmed. First off, the Ottoman Empire, which we can see if we go to uh, about 10 seconds. You will see the... Oh, come on. There we go. The facial tattoos, which were apparently very popular with the Kurds. Um, and... What, which, which I imagine, hold up, hold up, Ottoman Empire Kurds. Let's take, let's take a look at the, uh, the Kurdish map. Yes, okay, good. So, without pissing everybody off, because goddamn, my Mediterranean history is not as good as it could be, but I'm pretty sure that at some point, the Kurds and the Ottoman Empire were kind of the same thing. Please don't get mad at me, because I've said things like that before, and apparently I was hella wrong, and everybody was really mad. Like, I look, I don't know Kurdistan. Like, what, what, what was it? I think I said that I like Kurdistan and Syrians, and then I guess you guys are at war. So, yeah, let's just not talk about that. Uh, but Ottoman Empire, possibly confirmed, um, without getting too much into politics inadvertently um, but it looks like we are going to have the Ottoman Empire as one side and it uh, looks like Matthew Slattery is that how you say your name Slater Sl I'm gonna, Matthew the slut uh, is also saying that the US faction is going to be confirmed we're seeing a lot of soldiers that look very very similar to the US uh, factions in World War One um, and, sorry, God, it is so late. <laughs> the U.S. soldiers from World War I, uh, that is what we are seeing in the trailer. Now, I hope, I hope that that is accurate. I'm not sure if there's any other soldiers in any other factions that maybe look similar, but weren't actually from the U.S., but it looks pretty spot on to me. So that looks like, that looks pretty legit. Uh, we are seeing... Uh, originally, we said that the Red Baron might be a hero vehicle or a hero aircraft, uh, but it looks like that aircraft has been spotted numerous times throughout the video in multiple iterations, so it looks like that may not be a actual hero craft. Uh, that aircraft was pretty common at the time anyways, um, so that might just be the German fighter. There is the bomber, there is the London raids. Now, 
we do have a lot of weapons that are getting confirmed here. So first off, the trench gun. As you can see, there is a trench gun right there. So there is a shotgun that will be available. So right now we have bolt action, we have heavy caliber, high caliber weapons, uh, we have shotguns, we have revolvers, uh, we have melee weapons. Those are all of the weapons, uh, at least for the basic infantry, they're confirmed so far. And then we have uh, some of the heavy machine guns like the, uh, the Lewis that we saw in the previous video as well. Uh, there's actually uh, quite a few different weapons that we're seeing here. For instance, the, uh, let's see if we can find it, but the heavily armored machine gunner. In fact, I'm starting to wonder if this is the reason these two are put together. But this heavy machine gun kind of tank class, uh, that was apparently something that did exist. There were German heavy machine gunners that had armor uh, that was made specifically for them, and the helmet was specifically used to counter snipers. Uh, so there's actually, there's a good chance that what we're seeing here, this, this machine gun class right here, uh, you can't see the character firing this gun, but there's a good chance that these two could be the same characters. These could be the same guys, and this could be a heavy machine gun or tank class. Makes a lot of sense to me. Moving down the line, we do see that the flamethrower has been also confirmed. Now the funny thing is, is a lot of the flamethrowers in World War One were manned by like two or three people. Uh, it wasn't just something you just kind of threw on your back and and just went to town with. Uh, it was a little bit more delicate than that, but as we see here, uh, we've got somebody going pretty damn ham with it. Uh, but that is... Now, I, I can't... I, I, I hear a whole bunch of different names for it here. We've got the uh, Klein Flammenwerfer. Uh, we've got... Um, I, I, the the West you find the flamethrower. I don't know. There's a lot of different names getting thrown around, but I am seeing a very common theme of having this donut-shaped uh, flamethrower backpack-style uh, weapon. Uh, and I don't know if this also can be used to for for chemical warfare. Uh, in fact, some some people are suggesting that maybe. Uh, you have flamethrower variants, and then you have, like, gas variants. I don't really know uh, if that's actually something that you guys want to look into. That would be really interesting because, I mean, gas is obviously going to be in this game. Mustard gas is going to be in this game. It's just about how it's going to be delivered. Is it going to be a weapon? Is it going to be some kind of grenade? Is it only going to be artillery? That's something we still don't know yet. Moving down the line, uh, this is the big apple from what I have been shown so far. Now, we do see a train in the game. We go to 42 seconds, we see a train. Don't really know much about this train. Come on, ready, come on train. Come on, Swaggerino train, where are you? Don't, don't do this to me, baby. It's at 42 seconds, why are you leading me astray? Why are you leading me astray? God, there's so many, there's so much information in such a small period of time. Let's just play it, we'll find it. There it is, God! Look, I knew it was here somewhere! Um, so, this train is actually an armored train. And it has gun turrets and everything. This is leading us all to believe that there is going to be an objective game mode revolving around attacking a train. Or stopping a train. And the train uh, actually was a real train. It was a armored train. There was an armored tank train that existed during World War I. Uh, and it was pretty swagalicious. I'm not going to lie. It had lots of things that explode and kill things on the opposite side of the explosion. Um, and I have a feeling we could see objective game modes revolving around attacking this train. And the train is like a moving objective. That sounds pretty swag to me. Not gonna lie. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit here and play this.
this one freaking train segment like 50 times over. Uh, and we can see, like, it looks exactly like that. Like, it looks, we can't see the entire thing, but it, it looks exactly like these pictures. It looks exactly like a lot of these pictures. Um, so, what... It's the Zamorets, the Russian. Now, that's actually interesting. This is Russian. This is Russian. So, maybe we're going to see a lot of factions. Maybe we're going to see a wide variety in not just the, uh, the, the terrains, but also the people you're going to be fighting with and fighting against. Uh, maybe the lack of weapon variety and the amount of development work that would normally be spent on having all of these weapons and different kinds of weapons is instead instead going to be spent on having a whole bunch of different types of factions and a whole bunch of different types of characters so instead of having you know two three sides maybe we'll have five six seven uh instead of just having british and german maybe we'll have british german american ottoman uh russian just a wider variety of things and a wider variety of environments and also the characters to support those environments so it's really really cool if you want to read up on this uh make sure you go to my twitter all the links are there you can see it all in the replies if you have any more information continue letting me know let me know in the comments let me know in my twitter let me know in all that other stuff and i'm gonna go to sleep now holy god um and i'll see you guys tomorrow holy shit all right love you bye